after a five-second count, Davis has the touchdown for the win, and the Pelicans defeat the Thunder. Welcome everybody, but well, today we're going to talk about the man, Alvin Robinson. Born in Barberton, Ohio, he first went out and attended Crowder College for one season. After that, he went to Arkansas from 81 to 84. Now, as good as he was defensively, you probably never heard of him because he came out in the 84 draft. You know, Barkley, Stockton, Jordan, Elijah Juan, they all overshadowed this man, so there is no chance that if you didn't know basketball, you definitely wasn't going to hear about this guy. But we're going to get into the story of him. Now, when you look up his achievements, defensive player of the year in 86, four-time All-Star, All-NBA second team, two-time All-NBA defensive first team, four-time All-NBA defensive second team, most improved in 1986, and three-time steal leader. And very impressively, he became one of only four players to ever get a quadruple-double. It was easy for him on the court. It's off the court where the problems happened at. In 1997, he pleaded no contest to four misdemeanor charges of abusing former girlfriend. Uh, he was sentenced to one year for that. He spent a month in jail during the 1990 season on domestic assault. Then in t January 2007, he had a variety of charges, several related to domestic violence. Former San Antonio Spur Alvin Robertson back in the Bear County Jail after being on the run for about a week. The Lone Star Fugitive Task Force and the Bear County Sheriff's Office tracking down Robertson at an apartment on Jackson Keller yesterday. A spokesman for the Bear County Sheriff's Office says Robertson cut off his GPS monitor about a week ago. He'd been out on bond since December 12th for a 2009 case where he was charged with trafficking of a person under the age of 18. Bond set for Robertson at $80,000. Robertson's run-ins with the law, by the way, go back more than 20 years. According to a search of the public records, Robertson's first arrest was back in 1992 on an assault charge. He's also been charged with resisting arrest, burglary, driving with an invalid license, and violating a protective order. He was arrested in 2010 on that trafficking case. Now to the very and after all that, he was found not guilty. After spending three years on house arrest, now being able to go out unless it was approved. And the only way he went out was for doctor's appointments. And five years later, he was found not guilty in the story. And I know it's, it's unfair to say this, but Alvin Robinson, with his behavior, kind of put this on himself. Although I do believe that there should be some type of punishment for women who lie about such things. If he hadn't have been involved in the shits, he might have just possibly gotten a benefit of the doubt but his past actions is what did a man however it is said that he's turned his life around and i wish him all the best thank you for tuning in